morning, everyone. It is the top story at localesquire.com tonight, and thousands of you are sharing our story on Facebook. A flash of light looking something like this, and a big boom earlier this evening has people all across central New York searching for answers. So, what was it? News Channel 9's Josh Martin joining me now. This one had us scratching our heads, Josh, and uh, what would we figure out? Oh, yeah, Christy, our phone hasn't stopped ringing for a couple hours. Facebook and Twitter have been flooded with theories of what was first reported as an explosion. It happened just after 5 o'clock. People in Palermo, Central Square, Jordan, Brennan Beach, Syracuse, Cicero, Clay, Bridgeport, they all reached out to us saying they heard a boom. Others say they, heard, they saw a big flash of light. So we did some digging, and we now know that the American Meteor Society is investigating a fireball sighting in the Syracuse area that happened right around that same time, around 5 o'clock. According to Robert Lunsford of the American Meteor Society, a meteor described to be larger and brighter than normal entered the atmosphere over Lake Ontario. Fireballs that are larger uh, than normal and, and manage to penetrate down to the lower atmosphere will produce a sonic boom. So uh, the, the folks that did report any sound, they happened to be pretty close to the, uh, the track of this object. Now, this video isn't tonight's meteor. It's a similar one that happened in Alberta, Canada. If you have videos or photos of the one that happened tonight here in Syracuse, send them to us. Lundford says that can happen really quickly. So if you have a picture, we'd love to have it. And if there were fragments from tonight's meteor, Christy, they would be pebble-sized, and they probably would have ended up in Lake Ontario. All right. So, you know, a lot of people are wondering about these sightings and the meteors. Are they dangerous? Can anybody have gotten hurt? Well, Lundford said these are very very common type of things that happen. They're not really a threat or a danger to anyone. You can read the reports for yourself on the American Meteor Society's website. We have a link there at localsyr.com. An interesting night here in the newsroom and a lot of stories we've heard from a lot of people about this wild event. We got a lot of phone calls. All right, Josh, <laughs> great job. Thank you.